Pickaxe. Hello and welcome to Zero Degrees, the podcast with no qualifications where we solve your complications. I'm Lydia and I'm joined by Harry and Ravs. How are you guys doing? Hello, hello, hello. I'm doing very good. I feel like it's been a minute since we recorded, but obviously it's just going to be a weekly one for people listening here. You know, no, no one knows the behind the scenes. When did magic. we last record? A actually. couple of weeks ago, I think. Yeah, we, I feel like we I've been missed hu- two in a row. I've been hungering for some questions. Do you know what I mean? I feel like uh, yeah. I'm I mean, thirsty for for to give some knowledge out. The last one we did was the mega hungover one, wasn't it? Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, I we were at the pub last night, so this is just <laughs> yeah, like true. a mini hangover. The, the slightly hungover episode. <laughs> <laughs> the ever so slightly hungover episode. We we like have like a starting like rating because last yeah. one was certainly like high. So that was, like was high. Four or five out of out of five. Like this is probably like a three. This is like this is a three. Yeah, this is like a three. Compounded yeah. by the fact there's a fucking massive heat wave going yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. We're in the middle of a heat wave, which is why I might sound a bit different. I'm hiding in the office with the AC on just because I I can't be in my flat. It's it's hell out there. It is it's insane. Boiling. I I this is like the worst day to be sat inside recording a podcast. <laughs> like this is madness. It's like nearly thirty fucking degrees. It's kind of kind of crazy. I had We're to... all about zero degrees. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. The segue. Nice. nice. We, I just um, want to. I want to say though. I imagine that we'll have some listeners who will who hear us say um, it's almost thirty degrees, and we'll go. That's nothing down that's in Texas. Nothing down in Texas. We are. Uh, it's one hundred million degrees. We're born and alive down here. Um, it, it, I literally live on the sun. <laughs> I live on the sun. Um, it is. It is still hot. We assure you, we're 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 sweating our tits off it in is, our boiling, horrible houses. It is disgusting. It is yeah. disgustingly hot. It's really I, not enjoyable. Um, I've had to turn my fan off to record, otherwise it's too loud. So I'm just going to slowly oh well, melt during this <laughs> oh God, recording. Good luck. Yeah. Well, all of, all of our buildings are built to retain heat because we're a very cold country. Yeah. Uh, generally. So we just keep all this heat in and it's just like way, way sweaty, too warm. Sweaty, It's like muggy and humid. Oh. Muggy heat. I hate it. I hate it. I mean, when it's nice and windy outside with with the warmth, that's really oh, nice. Like a nice oh, summer's lovely. breeze. Oh. Love it. I love oh, a breeze. Lovely, oh, lovely. I do love that. I, we, we, we got sent in a picture today of someone who was listening to the podcast and they were driving a fucking tractor. I feel like... Think how hard it would be in that That is like cabin. insane. Just the sun beating down on your cabin. You're just absolutely sweltering. A little like, glass house. But I also feel like that's got to be one of the weirdest places someone's listened to Zero Degrees. Like, a tractor's yeah. a pretty... Mm. I, I love that. I know Triforce did it before, and they got people to send in their pictures from where they're listening. I even sent them one in when I was window cleaning. Nice. Like, I was just like, I here's some sheep. I'm with <laughs> some sheep listening to the podcast. It's, it's cool seeing people like send that stuff in. I was like, that's fucking cool. Yeah. yeah. I like, you know, I, it feels... Do you know, I think it's been interesting doing a podcast because obviously I don't think any of us have done, none of us have done a podcast before, have we? Mm-mm. And it's quite a, no. like, um, I, f- I guess we're also used to streaming and we're so used to that instant kind of reaction, that instant, you know, mm. people are chatting, people are giving feedback. It feels very weird to kind of record a thing and then just put it out there and then yeah, maybe some people like talk to you about it. Do you know what I mean? It's, it feels yeah, very like, yeah. it feels very like one way so i feel like it's nice to get people writing in and saying they've been enjoying it or they've been listening well, to someone it and someone in my stream says they listen to it um in an ambulance oh what? god and wait what, did you see this because they're regularly see, yeah, breaking they were, bones what they were listening they were listening to it in an ambulance or an ambulance driver and the podcast was playing when they received a call from the police and the podcast didn't stop oh my god so technically some police and i think america <laughs> Or the UK had to listen to some of Zero Degrees. Oh, which God. I think is fucking That's sick. how we're going to get out there. That's how we're going to make yeah. it big. Just slowly. Just the word. Slowly, yeah. Just, I, I feel like there was someone tweeted in the other day as well about how they were like picking up their kid or something. Mm. And they were listening to it with like the windows down. And we started talking about like dildos. I mean, I'm sorry. But also, I'm not sorry. You know, you know what you're <laughs> signing up to listening to this podcast yeah. on speakers out loud. Like, We're awful people. We're yeah. awful people. Well, listen to I, us at your own discretion i don't know peril. are we awful or the questions we get sent in awful i feel like it's more so the latter we're pretty bad but the questions are certainly 
A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, I think. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if we could take all the responsibility for it. I think <laughs> in the viewers also maybe uh, or the listeners get get some of that as well. But yeah, I, I hope think, people have been enjoying it. Yeah, I, mean, I think we're nearly at three hundred um, ratings on Spotify, which is crazy. Nice. So thank, thank you so to- much, everyone. Yeah. And send us send us pictures of you listening to it somewhere crazy, unless it's the toilet. We don't want to see yeah, you on d- the toilet. Don't want, don't want no that. No toilet pictures, don't want that. please. Oh god, we're not into that. Oh, just well, rats might it. be, but I'm not. Or, or intercourse. I don't want to see that. Like, if you're <laughs> yeah, listening oh my to god. this while you're having intercourse, like what is going on in your life? Are you come okay? on, lad? Get Although, in there. Kind of sick, you know. If you know, there's some couples out there listening to zero degrees. Like this. Is that like their like that. foreplay? That's like before, Maybe. before the before the cheeks start getting clapped. It's, it's fucking just a yeah. little bit of zero degrees. Let me just quickly chain you to the radio. <laughs> <laughs> it's inspirational. It is. It really yeah. is. Uh, I, I found the exact message. Uh, I'm a paramedic, and I went for I went out for a walk listening to zero degrees, and when suddenly it stopped, but it didn't stop. One of our SUVs had driven by me at the lights, and the sirens were going off. And you check your Bluetooth, and sure enough, it had connected to the, <gasps> the ambulance that was no. going by. No. Yeah. I can confirm a discussion on cooking on a radiator has now interrupted and confused a 911 <laughs> call. <laughs> oh my God, that's actually dangerous. I don't like that. I don't like oh the we're responsible God. for that. Kind of, kind of scary. That's... I also feel like eating food that you've cooked on a radiator will put you in an ambulance. So, it, yeah. you know, yeah. it goes both ways. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Fuck's sake. All right, should we, should we hop into a question? My girlfriend and I are in the bathroom and I suddenly need to pee, but she's mid doing her makeup. Do I pee with her in the room, assuming she's comfy with it? Or do I ask her to, uh, so, so I ask her to leave, hold it in? I mean, what do we What do we feel like the etiquette is here? Is peeing when someone else is in the bathroom and doing stuff like- <sighs> If it's your partner, I think it's probably fine if, they are, if they're chill with it, I think, Obviously, ask them. Don't just whip your dick out and start pissing. <laughs> pissing everyone. Okay, uh, you know, but uh, it's I, very. I it's, think... it's weirdly intimate, isn't it? There's a, there's a yeah. there is an openness. There's a yeah. It feels more intimate than maybe intercourse. I feel like that is like that's the final barrier. Is pissing what? pissing together How in a bathroom? Know? Really? I don't know. I feel like. That's well, very peeing, private. You, well, what yeah, ba- but what base is that? You know, you know how, <laughs> like, first base is like fucking holding hands. Second base is going on a date. Yeah, home, home run is pissing, yeah. pissing together. Home pissing. run is that a home run? Yeah. Home run is pissing, pissing between her legs. <laughs> She's also pissing. Oh my god! The fucking transformers, fucking <laughs> assemble. Because <laughs> people do that. People do sit. I saw something about some guy who was um, adamant. I can't remember where it was quite a few years ago, but he was adamant that you should sit on a toilet facing towards the back of the toilet. Oh, I like remember reading that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, w- yeah. what? I've never... I mean, that would be insane. Wanna, Let's say your partner comes in to go, try go pee and they sit down like that. I feel like that at that moment, I'm just like, I get my keys, I leave. <laughs> really I never weird. return. <laughs> Someone needs to prank their partner by doing that and just see what just like, like, the reaction what? is. What's the matter? Like, what? This is how I pee. Do you not pee like this? What? <laughs> yeah, oh my god. <laughs> we should maybe all do this. We should all just pull that out, pull that one out. Just like what is it even well, called? This is how I normally pee. <laughs> See, I feel like I have the opposite kind of well not the opposite, but a different view to Harry. And I think peeing is fairly easy breezy baby like i don't think it's some massively intimate thing like if you're going on a walk with your mates in the countryside you've got to piss you're gonna you'll you know whip your trousers down and have a wee wee like it's not like this you know deep intimate moment it's just kind of like i have to piss or another example uh as uh i used to do a lot i don't do so much now i'm an old woman but um <laughs> when i was younger me and my friends always when we were out in the club uh, we'd always go pee together See, yeah, I hate in that. the stalls. I, I don't know that. why. I yeah. don't really know why we would, that but was, it was just a precedent that we would. I mean, that being said, I have um, I've had pee battles with Tom Clark before. That's I'm happy to admit that we've talked. You about have that. pee battles with Tom as well. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> oh what? Can we, I get a little bit of clarification? We were here? very what drunk. And we did. Well, we, we were pretending that they were like lightsabers, and we were doing like a duel. <laughs> okay, I've not had a piss fight with Tom. Me and Tom just oh prank each other when we were pissing. <laughs> Uh, you, what, but I don't know. I mean, that feels like very out of character for me because I feel like peeing is a private act. It's a ceremonial moment, and and that's Wait. it's not to be enjoyed with other people. It's a private. 
It's a private Harry, thing. Harry, it's a private moment. Also, Harry, I did a lightsaber <laughs> fight with my friend peeing. <laughs> I, yeah, I, again, out of character. I don't know what I was thinking because it's not its not what I believe. It's not my beliefs. <laughs> it's not my beliefs. Like, what, what Tom, pranks do you do, Revs? Well, me and Tom just like to give each other a little nudge. Like, so what you sneak up on the other person is <laughs> that their so. urine and we'll just bump into the back of them so they go, ah. <laughs> yeah. uh, or we'll just like be like, ah. That sneak up on you, but hello. You see, the thing right is, I guess, their face. I guess there is an unavoidable kind of community aspect to to men, you know, male pissing in, in, mm. in the urinal trough. There is a, there it's is a kind trough. Of, it, well, it is a trough. It yeah, is, no, it know, is. There it is, is like, you're right. You know, at the end of the day, you do get those people, Ravs, and I'm sure you know them, who just they they take a fucking long old peep. They take a big old <gasps> lean over and Fair. look like, and it's fucking weird. A lean over? Yeah, yeah. some people do go like. They're like proper like staring up at your junk and it's like Stare, what the staring fuck? at your dick. That's yeah. horrible. My and I'm God. trying to I try to like put a little safety cone around yeah. it. It doesn't need to be very big. It doesn't big. have to be big, does it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah just a little, I like the Ravs. We can't see, just but just... Ravs just took two hands <laughs> and made yeah. like a circle. <laughs> That's optimistic, <laughs> a little, yeah. Well, a little like a little roof for my, my dick. <laughs> you only need one hand, Ravs, you don't need two. But like <laughs> the idea of going into a cube like cubicles are kind of just germ filled hell holes. Like they are like not like going into like a club cubicle is like, God, they are just, oh God. they are just the full of They are fucking grim. There's puke. Ah, oh, it's horrible. It is. They are grim. But I guess they're no more grim than a urinal, surely. It's the same thing. It is. I've got walls around it. Yeah, but I guess that's why I'm like, I want to spend as little time possible like breathing in the pee air. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. That's true. Oh my God. Some of them smell they so stink. bad. They yeah. fucking stink. Uh, yeah, the thing is, that's why I say like, I don't know why. Like, viewers if you could uh chime in with this if you've mm. ever like you know you've been out on a night out it's, it's a thing that happens when you're really drunk and you go into the cubicle with your mate and you pee and you chat i think it's because you're chatting and you want to carry on chatting so you just but just continue. go and pee really quickly and then return to the conversation <laughs> but when you're drunk you just want to yeah. keep it going baby you don't want no <laughs> break you d- it's so interesting whatever shite you're talking about that you yeah. won't remember the next day so you pee Wait, in the so same are you guys like in the same cubicle like fucking talking a shit well you take turns pissing yeah exactly someone will what? stand and someone will pee and you'll chat you'll like look each other in the eye do you have a conversation do you ever, no that... god oh, oh no my, oh, oh no no tell obviously me you that's never happened because you are a lady, lady. Tell me, i'm like, a woman i don't tell me, like, one of your friends has sat down and just had like the most <laughs> just violent fucking, diarrhea just no, shatter storm because <laughs> you can't no. open the door that's fucking that's like friendship over like you i mean i would be out of there i'd be the fucking out of there i'm not standing there what's they take a shit that feels very much against etiquette right you can't just like start like that's a betrayal laying logs what if it happened by accident you weren't expecting it to you by surprise you'd be like leave get out please save yourself Uh, again like i just feel like these are i'm not like super prudish but i just feel like these are like kind of private moments that you just get over and done with and then like back to back to life I feel like it, yeah. it's weird to, it want to share it with another person. <laughs> I wouldn't do it now. As an old lady, I would not do it now. I don't know why it was a thing of my 20s of mm. being in cubicles with friends. But then also, latching onto what you just said, I firmly agree. And this goes back to the original question that peeing in front of a significant other is not such a big deal. As long as you're polite and ask if it's okay. But pooping? Pooping is a sin. Pooping, yeah. if you poop in front of your significant other, and I know there's people out here listening that do that, what the fuck? What yeah, the weird. fuck? Especially if they're having a nice bath I, and they're never candles that's, and you're just like... That's the moment I do time. get triggered. It's like, if I'm in there doing, you know, in the bathroom, washing my hands or whatever, brushing my teeth, whatever, brushing my hair, whatever, whatever I'm doing, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, you can come in and pee. I feel like it's more rude when my partner comes in and pees when I'm in the shower because you're, you're, I'm, like, I'm in a locked away moment. I don't get like a say. I'm like a captive prisoner to the pee <laughs> show. And I'm just like, well, this isn't, I know, like, I can't, this can take me a minute to leave. I don't, I don't, I can't like leave if I want to. You've invaded my like shower space and I'm like just this weird like person just watching Mr. Miming against the glass like <laughs> what, what am when I going to do? you press your face against the glass like <laughs> yes the piss, the piss. <laughs> do a good piss piss, piss detected <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? that feels cruel I feel like I'm in prison I'm in like piss jail and I'm having to fucking well, my torture is no, watching this Harry. Fuck you how? Piss no. jail. what me just shouting no 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 <laughs> don't piss <laughs> <laughs> I guess yeah I, well I've never really I like I when I'm in the bath mm-hmm. um, I will 
my significant other will have a pee and I hate that because I'll like not in the bath obviously that would be really strange <laughs> but I'll be like <laughs> I'll be like having a nice relaxing Dive bath bubbles. Dive on the bubble bath I'll have like a bath with some bubbles listen to some music I have a cup of tea and obviously when someone's got to go they've got to go and I, I take really long baths oh, so I'll be wait, in the bath for like one to two hours you're, well, but you're, you're one bathroom house one you? bathroom yeah, household so that, that and that at that moment Lydia it's just things have to happen it, well that's the thing right if it was a poop then I would be like no you either fucking wait or I'm getting out of this bathtub <laughs> but if it's a peep it's like okay that's fair like I've been in here for an hour You've, you're gonna piss yourself and it does yeah. ruin the ambiance I will not lie when you're trying to relax and someone's just pissing next to you but, but you know how does, how... yeah you've got like four seasons playing like, do, 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 you're like sipping some wine would it be better if they like did like a cherub pose you know like those fountains that like, <laughs> like in Belgium piss at the end. yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> like you know, they like added, you know, made it real, real cultured, really nice. <laughs> what if they were like a tall guy? As well? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm abroad. <laughs> yeah, if, you see, it, if it's a, if it's a one bathroom arrangement, then like stuff just has to happen. That's yeah. un, that's unavoidable, you know. You but, gotta go, yeah. you gotta but go. I'm a two bathroom house. And that wait, so why are they precisely in your Lydia? Room? What? But I'm in the shower. This, like. That well, that's to just me. a fetish at that point. Like, I know. What I are they like, doing? I've got to go away and have some conversations. I think <laughs> they just want to see the cocker. I yeah. think that's what's happening there. Any excuse to see it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I Also, I guess actually, the question was actually about makeup. It wasn't, you know, it was about, you know, she's doing makeup. Oh, is she's it okay for makeup. me to go in and pee? Like, is or that, thing, do you want piss particles going onto like your makeup brushes and then like your face? How hard are you pissing? <laughs> The the flashback piss zone gets is like everywhere. Feet. Have you never seen one of those videos yeah. where it's like you flush a toilet and like even even if the lid's down, it goes out the side. Like bathrooms yeah, are gross. Oh. oh yeah. Like it's not it's not lovely. I like, remember reading this fact about like your toothbrush will have poo particles in it. Yeah. Because like it's Ooh. just floating around in the bathroom and it will attach to your toothbrush head. We we're like, I really hope some people are listen, like listening to this while they, they start their day or whatever. Their like, they're just, we're just fucking ruining, just ruining people's days. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone, that you had to know that now. <laughs> so well, that's why they, that's why they say like, uh, hair, like hand dryers are actually mm. like really gross because it's yeah. just pushing that gross poopy pee air like like all around when it's drying your hands and stuff. Yeah, I just, I feel like I like to not think about all of these things because I feel like that's how you become like mega germaphobe. Just like, Whoa, oh yeah. my God, there's stuff everywhere. It's kind of unavoidable. If, like, if you, if you got to go as well, you got to go, right? Mm. And you, like, even if you're out, and out like fucking in the street, you know, sometimes you've got to fucking find a nice dark spot to go have yeah. a nice piss. The Behind a bin or in an alley. Hoping oh, Lydia, pool, come on, you do that. Don't catch you. Don't lie. I have to hold don't it. Lie. The luxury of having an alti. You can just <laughs> go whenever yeah. you want. As as an any, I gotta, I can, like, it's Lydia, a whole thing. just pop, thing. squat, and dream. Just fucking, it's What if just... I'm wearing jeans? You want me to get my whole fucking private, my dignity get, out? My get entire that, dignity? Get that, get that small amount of dignity that's <laughs> left right out. <laughs> It only works if you're wearing a skirt with like no tights, but even then it's like a risky. Yeah, that feels like maneuver. that feels weirdly more risky. I don't know. Like, yeah, like, a lot skirt. of things like Get flowing around. Skirt. Yeah. yeah, like it's yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's not great. But yeah, I think going go, circling back to the the peep, the peeping. Um, mm. I would say if she's like, yeah, it's fine. If she genuinely doesn't mind, I don't personally think it is a big deal. Mm. Um, pooping. Where couples poop in front of each other, which I know, I have genuinely know couples that do that. I think that is, oh my God. The, I just don't understand how the love isn't dead at that point. Like, where yeah. is the romance if you're pooping in front of each other? Yeah, that's like... <laughs> Maybe they like the poopy. Maybe they like the poopy. <laughs> and we're not here to judge, yeah. except we are. Oh, I'm and judging. I, and I'm judging I'm really judging. fucking hard. If you like the poopy, I'm judging you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think it's, I think it is fine, but I think you certainly need to like... Absolutely Ease check with your partner. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, don't just start fucking power blasting your toilet. With <laughs> Actually, I, I take that back. Piss. You've got to do the reverse sit down. That's how you have to start oh, it. Do, yeah, you do yeah. have to initiate it with the reverse sit down first. <laughs> oh, yeah. You have to like rake her onto the toilet. <laughs> and then she's like, what? No, this is so fucking normal. <laughs> <laughs> I actually that's so everyone pisses <laughs> gaslight them that, that, and, if it, and if she complains you just start the fucking uh, piss junk collection outside the bathroom when she's doing her makeup she's like I'm sorry I gotta go somewhere <laughs> it's in Sunny D bottles yeah yeah Sunny D bottles Sunny D. fill them up fill them up I'll put them back in the fridge 
Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good good luck. Also, I'm interested. What do people... I feel like this is going to be a divisive one. I feel like this it's 50... Device, yeah. I feel like this is 50-50. People will just be like, no, why the fuck would you do that? Or like... That's gross. Hold it in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah interesting. Or I, like, why doesn't the person just leave the bathroom? Like, what? there's no need but i do think in certain certain circumstances it is a pain in the ass to leave like you're in the bathroom in the shower yeah she's yeah. you know knee deep in doing her makeup like she's doing her eyeliner she's really carefully drawing it on she doesn't want to have to stop and leave like there are situations where it's just easier to let someone pee yeah. um but i can see both sides just be respectful right just be respectful be yeah. respectful but i will never see the poop side <laughs> I will never see the poop side. That's the line. That's the line we don't That's cross. The line, and it has been drawn. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. All right, thank you. Okay, next question. I recently turned 21, which here in America means I can legally drink alcohol. Problem is, I don't want to drink alcohol. I've been tipsy before and I hated the feeling. So I'm staying away from it mostly. Oh, sorry, I'm staying away from it mostly, but lots of people don't get that and really want to take me out drinking. What are some good and funny excuses I can give to blow these people off? You know, friends and close family members that I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, change the verbiage on blow them off. <laughs> you just mentioned family in there, and I'm just like, I'm gonna okay, blow my family off. Wow, oh, yeah. God. Look, family that yeah. pisses together, blows each other off together, <laughs> very close together. Oh my god, I don't. Ah, uh, it's a. I, I feel like you can just be like, fuck off, like you can go away. I don't. I don't know. Like, how do you? Are there any funny excuses to get rid of it? I guess you could just constantly uh, say you're thought, hungover. You're like, I'm sure. It's, I'm a, it's a classic. <laughs> it's a classic one, but I always say like I'm washing my hair that day or something. Mm. It's, it's even harder if you're bald. <laughs> um, but like, but you, you can. Know. But you say that at the pub. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you want a drink, Raj? No, I'm washing my. I'm hair washing that my day. hair that day. No, <laughs> yeah. no, no. Just say I'm pregnant. Just fucking. Just go out. Just fucking fully. Straight out. Straight oh, out. Bit silly. I'm, t- I'm teetotal. Uh, straight edge, baby. I I don't I don't touch booze. I do My feel body like is a temple. We are the three worst people, yeah. worst people to give advice on on how to not absolutely. Drink. This is like absolutely. This is like the opposite. Like we literally have a degree in this. Like this, <laughs> we are experts we are in experts drinking. In this, yeah. I, yeah. I feel like it's just if you don't want to drink, it's fine. I I, I, I there's a bit of the, that made me. I feel this question made me a bit sad. It was like you know the people like want to make them go out and take them out drinking, and it's like, I mean, you can go, you can go and join them, right? Like you don't have to go and drink. You can go out and yeah, have like fun drink, with them. drink the non-alcoholic beers or whatever yeah. you fancy. They're, they're honestly really good. Like non- mm. non-alcoholic yeah, beers are actually good. really fucking nice. Like, they, they taste like beer. It's crazy. I I yeah. I can understand their what their sort of conundrum is though, because I think at the age of twenty one, mm. I'm trying to think of me and my friends when we went out. We probably were very immature when it came to stuff like that. And if someone wasn't drinking, it'd be like, come on, why aren't you drinking? Yeah. Don't be boring. Like, yeah. you're young, you, you know, you don't really get that, it's, you know, life is more complicated and, and nuanced than that. It's not all about, like, you have to get pissed. Um, so it probably would have been like that at 21. Now, if I'm with someone that said they're not drinking, I say, like, oh, okay, cool. I wouldn't even ask why. I'd just be like, yeah, no worries. Yeah. Um, like, it's not, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But... I think at 21, it probably would have had that reaction from me, you know, like, oh, don't be boring, which... I also, I feel like in America, because you're probably driving somewhere to go and drink, you can turn it into a bit of a superpower of, Ooh. oh, it's fine, I'll be I'll be designated, designated driver. driver. Oh, yeah, be like, the designated like, driver, that that's point, perfect. At that point, you're literally like your mate's best fucking friends. Like, that yeah. is, that is they can a, a fucking homie hookup beyond belief. Like, I feel like that's, that's the out, right? But don't let them vomit in your car. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Also I, also, I don't know how much you want to like lie or have to have to lie, but if it is like they are being super insistent and you've kind of said everything and they're just being like, "Come on, come on, give it a go," you could say like, "Because I have a friend who's allergic to alcohol, it makes her really ill." You could say that you're, you know, you're allergic, like makes you ill. I can't, I literally yeah. can't drink it. I'll be really sick. I just can't. Um, and and like Barry said, hit the hit the non-alcohol beers and stuff like that because they are good. E- e- equally, it sounds like. Um, at the beginning, they're like, I don't want to drink alcohol. I've been doing I hated the feeling. You, you can drink alcohol very slowly and mix it with other things and not get drunk. There is, yeah. you don't have, like, don't, drinking alcohol doesn't mean you're going to get fucked up. Like, there is a very, you can get do low, low alcohol shit. You can just drink, you know, water in between. You can drink slowly. Like, it doesn't have to be vodka shots into eyeball every moment <laughs> of, that you're out. Like, have you, you guys ever done that? Because I have. No. And it's awful. What? Did it's you, awful. I thought this was like a myth yeah. that people put no, shots no, in no, their no. eyes. I, 
I did like I was just like fucking 18, 19 oh. it was like oh the hangover just came out so like wolf pack ha 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 <laughs> a shot of vodka that's so in each chad eyeball. that is the most chad thing you ever told me yeah yeah i did a shot in each eye well eyeball. you're not blind um, for the rest of the night holy shit like your uh, eyes must have been so sore i was very 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 hungover the next day did it get um, you really drunk is it true that well i was already really drunk when i did uh, it so i don't know if it just sent me further into the abyss it does because the mechanics of it must work right like some alcohol must enter your bloodstream get in your, your bloodstream yeah but it's probably a lot it's of it probably insanely just, unsafe i'm pretty sure yeah a lot of it also just surely just goes right off and you just you'll you just, just cry it out or whatever. yeah yeah i yeah. mean it's at least le- less effective than just shotting it i imagine i don't i don't miss those days i'm, I'm glad no. to be more responsible now God, yeah, yeah I, shit we used to do. I really don't i just really maybe a, a shot every so often like once a fucking month or uh, when we're doing a silly thing but I just really fucking hate that style of drinking and yeah, I, like I just, hate it when people rock up with a little tray of shots like hey yeah, or like a Jagerbomb like Jagerbombs so fu- taste it's like fucking expensive fucking as well shit. like that shit is yeah. really mm. expensive and, and over I, in a couple of seconds I feel like like I don't know yeah. like 17, 18 year old drinking was it fucking sucked <laughs> like yeah it yeah, was it did it was fun but looking back a lot of the time i was like I really want to do this don't really mm. want to like oh i guess i'm just drinking an entire bottle of vodka for the evening like <sighs> okay God. that's that's the drink and it's like cheap vodka as well this fucking the, I find, sucks Paint you know what i find vodka. interesting about this question though is that this comes from america like if this was mm. in the UK, I'd totally get it because we have like a huge drinking culture over mm. here. Yeah. Which I don't, when I think of America, I don't really think of them as having like a, as big a drinking culture guess, as we do. Are they maybe at, fact, are, got, are they at university though? If they're 21. Oh, it could be it like, be college. it's college yeah. time, mm. frat party, spring break. <laughs> maybe, like that maybe that's the situation because I feel like the designated driver would have been a go-to excuse. Maybe they're in a college or whatever, there's no driving. Oh, you know for, and I mean? that just sounds like peer pressure hell. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, have to stu- I have to study for the big exam. <laughs> I gotta yeah. study. Yeah. Yeah, I feel I like think... studying is a good excuse. <clears throat> yeah, I, th- I think just... It sounds really cliche, but saying if you've started with I just don't enjoy it, I don't want it, and they're still pushing you, and then you say like oh, it just makes me feel really ill, I genuinely don't, I just cannot drink it, and they're still pushing you, then maybe these aren't the kind of people you want to be hanging out Honestly, with. Honestly, yeah, that that one hundred percent. Like, uh, secondly, maybe maybe we're just avoiding the nuclear option. Maybe you do just get really fucked up and then just like throw up all in your friend's bedroom, <laughs> throw up all in their yeah. fucking car, just like fucking projectile vomit everywhere that you fucking can, paint the Shit room, your pants paint the so road that they you of the sh- yellow your pants. with your fucking sick and just mm-hmm. shit everywhere, yeah. just fucking mm-hmm. every bodily function, just mm-hmm. out, just get it all out in their room, in their car, wherever, and they'll fucking learn to never ask for you to get drunk again. Yep. Yep. They'll never want to ever see a, a drink. They will call you pee pee poo pants, vomit <laughs> head, and stuff pants. like that for a while. Vom vom bomb. Vom bomb. Vom bomb. But vom-bom. then you know you won't you won't have to drink for a while, a long time. You know, yeah. After that, highs and lows. <laughs> I do I do think it's so weird that Americans drink at twenty one. Like I just it's so late. It's so like obviously there is probably some drinking happening before you're twenty one. Mm, but even then, here, like yeah. I just feel like it's so late so like late to just go through a wild drinking phase like yeah i know it's yeah like over here we can't well because we're such raging bloody booze house <laughs> well, we start at like 13 or yeah here. like <laughs> yeah. i don't know like we start probably because yeah we probably start drinking around like 14 or whatever but like having to wait until you're like a full-blown 21 year old adult till you're allowed to have a beer just seems crazy to me like that's so old and i, I know that People were listening and thinking, well, it's not actually that old, but it feels it, doesn't it? It, it, like, well, it is in a sense of, I feel like a lot of development happens between 18 and 21. And a lot of your, you know, at 18, I do feel like you, well, you do stop being a child and you do certainly progress into becoming an adult here in the UK. And I feel like 21 so late to pass over that responsibility, right? Like, I, I just find it very strange. I find it very, very strange. Mm, mm. Um, I don't think... <laughs> we're not saying here like drinking is amazing everyone should fucking drink loads let's oh, dr- get the kids to drink like that is not my point of view but I think yeah. there is a level of like l- you need to learn if this is a thing you're going to do you need to learn it and it needs to be done responsibly and you need to yeah. like preferably get those crazy times out of the way sooner rather than mm. later like yeah you don't want to be like 21 and absolutely shit face yeah what the fuck yeah. like I, yeah on like two beers <laughs> yeah that, that stuff fucking suck 
So I don't know. I feel like it's a hard question. Like, I don't feel like there's any funny excuses apart from maybe trying to lie that you're pregnant, but that Like, one... is it, yeah, is it a guy? Because I, yeah, just go with that. Just go with that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Come I'm on. I'm pregnant. Um, yeah, could you say, like, you could do, like, what they say, like, come on, have a drink, and then just stare into the distance, go really glassy-eyed and say, and say never since the incident. <gasps> never oh. Never since the incident. Oh yeah, no, never since or whatever. 1964. Never since then. <laughs> never <laughs> since that day, and then <laughs> never ever go into any more detail when they ask. to say, "I'm not really equipped to talk about that." I don't even yeah. legally think I can. Yeah. Um. You go, I'm sorry. I'm. I'm. You know. I'm. I, 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 I'll alternatively, I about it. <laughs> vacant distance stare, glassy eyed, like you were saying, and then you just go. I shitted. <laughs> you actually did. You actually did shitted. And do a and shit. And actually follow through. Don't yeah, just lie. Yeah. Don't just lie. Yeah. Again. And you stare silently into space the whole time until you say I shitted. Yeah. And then you have to go home. Yep. And there's like a little brown patch of where you were on the bench. I feel like that's uh, perfect. No, Lydia, that's a perfect oh, answer to this. Nope. That's okay, the perfect sorry. answer yep. to this yep. question. I yep. don't know why okay. you would try and move 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 on to a better one. That is it. No. Nope. All right. Sorry. Answer the question. <laughs> that help. Question three. I'm addicted to jerking it. <laughs> Any point when I have some free time, I'm just spanking it each and every hour I get. I have a, uh, I have a girlfriend and we have a good sex life, but I can't stop jacking it. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad, but it gets weirder and weirder levels of porn to get me off each time. You know the death by snooze snooze scene in Futurama? Mm. I know it well. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> did you know that that has spawned an entire porn subgenre? Neither did I until I spent two days annual leave from work banging my hog to a giant Amazonian woman on OnlyFans. Oh what God. can I do to curb my need to raid the veiny log flume of love? I'm starting to chafe. Also casually just leaking my OnlyFans there. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> nice, nice promo. It's a nice little sponsored little segment promo. For, uh, promo. for Lydia. <laughs> what the fuck is this question? Okay. Um... It's certainly a question. Wow. Okay. Wait. What so, was was there a question? I feel like I, I feel like that was more just a flex. Was that? Well, no. It was a. What can I do to stop fucking beating my meat, squeezing God, my hog? Just he's starting to chafe. Just, <laughs> I mean, no nut November was a joke, but like maybe you should really you consider need a, it. No nut twenty two. <laughs> I, I, like I'm interested. Is this like a? They took sorry. They also they took two days annual leave to masturbate. Just fucking master. That is, that is like one of the most insane things like I've ever heard in my fucking life. What Wowie. the fuck? That is fucking insane. Um, I I feel like I, I was just like, does their partner, does their girlfriend know about this? She must surely be, when right? it gets, if he's surely when, it yeah. Well, surely when it gets to their sex life, you know, it's a little fucking puff, puff of mist of comes out, Dis dust. a puff of air and dust oh comes out because he's just fucking drained the hog. Oh my god! I just, the river run dry. I just like I, that bit. I feel like needs to be expanded on. I need to know why. Like, do they like if you're hiding this? This is an insane, insane thing. Well, he uh, says they have a good sex life, right? So. <laughs> okay. Assuming he that he's doing both, like, yeah, maybe maybe she doesn't know. Maybe he does it in also, secret. It doesn't really sound like it doesn't sound like they're having a bad time. It doesn't sound mm. like it's affecting their life badly. It just sounds like it sounds like they're really addicted. <laughs> it doesn't like the, yeah, porn addiction is a uh, thing. Like. Yeah, well, I was about to say yeah, sex addiction, porn addiction is an actual like kind of. Regi registered recognized mm -hmm. addiction like people get therapy for it and stuff don't they because it takes over their yeah. life like um do you guys have any experience with that like you ever just couldn't stop no. it? no for, for harry not no what's how many in one day <laughs> how many in one day not many wasn't no not average like the most you've ever <laughs> what's done the average let's do the calculation what's like the most you've ever done three or four but like that just feels like that yeah, feels like four, extravagance four for me that oh, feels you like you know ravs wanted to say like fucking 15 but <laughs> no, oh my god to rain my in. poor i my don't poor little fucking tiny dick would be like <laughs> i, I don't sad. even know how you could, like i it's a mind-blowing concept to me of, that you could do it more than that that is like that I is, think it would hurt that's my cap that's it it's done yeah I'm that's out. my cap like just kill me <laughs> yeah. at the end of that I'm done I'm I'm, a, I'm like a like a Pringle just I'm ready to just snap <laughs> I'm just I'm just yeah. I'm so fragile 
Just can't well, touch me. Go, don't go near me. What yeah, about I, when you were younger? When was it? Like, don't boys reach like what is it? The you know sexual peak when they're like eighteen or something like that, and women reach it when they're like mid thirties. So I'm still in my peak actually. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm currently peaking. I think I'm peaking. <laughs> yeah. but like, I'm is it, isn't it like you know? But I remember like you know back in secondary school or whatever where you know there's like people you joke that boys would get a boner because they can see a bra strap or whatever you're just like constantly horny like is it not more than I, didn't, I didn't find that uh, no it's not the, the, people will think it's the bra strap no it is just your dick being an asshole right. you know what I mean it'll be like literally okay the school bell is about to ring and we're about to all stand up and leave <laughs> erection <laughs> look Time to give your every, class talk erection. Every young man knows the experience of waistbanding. We've all done it. We've all been yeah. there. That's tuck sh- it in. That's tuck it, tuck it, it in. Right. That like, mean tuck. Right. Yeah. It's okay. rough. It's a rough time. It's a rough time to be a kid. It's How weird. How are you supposed mm-hmm. to do that when you're like about to stand up in front of the class? How do you grab it and it's tuck like it in? It's like a learned skill. Dude, right. You, yeah, Lydia. These are these are the these are the <laughs> secret arts of man. Sorry, right. <laughs> these are like okay. it's like it's like the level of kung fu that is not talked about. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yes, I, I just feel like I, I can't, I can empathise, but I can't understand that, like this, this, this question. Like, I, mm. it's, it sounds so extreme. Like, I, I don't, I don't know how you get out of that. Also, again, they don't sound sad. They sound like they're having a nice time. It sounds like they're enjoying yeah. it. It sounds like it's not affecting their relationship, which yeah, but is kind of the first have, thing. Like, do you think they have like the post wank depression? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, the, yeah. The, when you're clarity. just like. You realise what you're looking yeah. at. You look around and, and you're, you're just like, like oh. No. <laughs> yep. I, I feel like with like sort of porn addiction and sex addiction, it's almost like the kind of funny sounding addiction, right? You know, mm. it's like, ha ha, watching porn. But I guess it, it must have the same, you know, characteristics of any kind of addiction where, you know, you can't seem to stop no matter what no matter it ruins your no matter how much it ruins your life like you yeah. can't stop doing it so is, is it the same as that is it like he literally and it sounds silly saying but literally cannot stop wanking like I, does he need to see a therapist well, i, guess I don't know like releasing endorphins into your brain mm. right and if you suddenly like I'm going to try and stop giving my brain as much endorphins uh, I, 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 like, i'm pretty sure also there's like dangers to like not Mas- like masturbating is good for you yeah like to a level so i think don't i although we joked about no no remember i wouldn't encourage doing that i'm pretty sure those are like yeah. actually pretty I think damaging like, i think it's like a healthy one a day is the healthy one one right? a day keeps the doctor away <laughs> yeah yeah sure why not why not fuck it let's just let's just make up just medical stats one a day mm-hmm. one a day is what zero degrees recommends one a, one a day keep the doctor away <laughs> yeah <laughs> That is um, official official medical uh, messaging from zero degrees. <laughs> could he uh, could he move on to crack cocaine? Yeah, replace it with replace another addiction. Replace it with another addiction. Mm, One which but then is what, a what lot if more he dangerous. starts fucking double fisting? He's oh. doing some crack cocaine and wanking. I, I feel like <laughs> then he's living. <laughs> honestly, the best way to to switch up addictions of pretty much any kind is changing routine because it's usually it's a part mm. of your day that you're doing a thing, right? Mm-hmm. That's how you stop doing something or that mm-hmm. you're addicted to so you know just stop sitting down in the wank chair or whatever like if you're wankaporium <laughs> just stop going to I've the wankaporium i like just had a genius idea uh-huh he's talking about how he loves like these amazonian powerful woman death by snow the future am episode okay and uh-huh. he has a healthy sex life why doesn't he get his girlfriend to get him a chastity belt or like oh a, 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 a like a or like a little uh, cock cage oh so that God. she has the key to it? Oh that way, God. that way, dude, he's gonna bust he, so hard you can't do that to him. That yeah, boy I mean, it is gonna like scary enjoy movie. So be busted to the ceiling <laughs> or whatever, but like it will stop him from beating his meat all the time. Is that like the little cage that stops you from getting an erection? Like, but it doesn't stop anything. It doesn't oh, stop you just anything. you just can't wank because there's a cage yeah. on it, right? I thought it physically yeah. stopped it, but no. Okay, so you okay? You just can't wank. I think that's a great idea. I, I my my only worry around is he's gonna love it too much. <laughs> I, I feel like yeah, but like, then at least he's like coming once a day or something. But then you know I feel I mean, like he's thinking like... about it literally all the time. Maybe, but it might like get the habit out of them. You know what I mean? <laughs> I feel like yeah. All you've done is you've taken a heroin addict and be like, but cocaine as well. <laughs> 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 I I feel like you just gotta like. I I feel like they maybe they're not being 
real enough of like is it affecting your life in like a bad way like is their girl is it yeah, actually okay with their girlfriend yeah. like uh, taking yeah. two days of annual leave just to wank is pretty fucking insane like that's yeah. really extreme and also like, are you skipping social events to go have a <laughs> wank as wank. well like <laughs> Or when you're out, do you fucking nip into the toilet oh, for a quick wank? Oh, no. Yeah. That's why I'm not hanging around in cubicles, Lydia. Town chats and oh, friends. Yeah. The, cum <laughs> the cum particles. The cum particles. I think you need to have a hard look at how it is affecting your life. And if it isn't, you know what? Great. Cool. I mean, like, mm. weird people come in changing rooms and stuff, right? Oh, like, God. all over the mirror and shit. <laughs> they so, like, do. I imagine this is that type of person, you know what I mean? Yeah, he, are he, you? He is a Kuba. He is an actual Kuba. Yeah. Oh. Are you going into like public restrooms and changing rooms and wanking? Like, if you're doing stuff like that, then that's then a fucking that's problem. A problem. Like, yeah. gotta, I would say like maybe like say like okay, I wanked fifty times today. Um, tomorrow, I'm only going to wank forty eight times <laughs> and try and just bring it down. Keep yourself busy. You know, yeah, slowly w- wing yourself off. Yeah, take up a new hobby that involves holding similar like, shaped things like tennis. Just like, like whittling, t- whittling and tennis. I don't know. Yeah, just, just pick up some new hobbies. Yeah. He uh, just starts whittling dicks. <laughs> it's all I can do. It's like that scene in Superbad where all he can draw is fucking cocks. Dicks. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake. On a side note, is anyone like super curious about this new suit porn now? A little bit. I mean, I'm on, if, I, if I was I am, on my home computer, I'd say I am familiar with uh, Amazonian <laughs> categories. Oh, Rabs already knows. Not, not the future Amos new snoo stuff. <laughs> I don't. I don't know about that. Does they dress up? Does, the, does she dress up in the? Do they, like, bikini, I wonder if they dress the up leopard print bikini, whatever yeah. it is they wear with the clubs. I wonder if that's a thing. I'm. I'm interested. Like. Also, how much have they spent on this OnlyFans thing? Because they kind of moved past that bit of the question quite quickly. You t- I fucking totally forgot about they that. They took oh. two days off work to bank to spe- specifically to Does that. Does your girlfriend know about that? That's why I feel women. like... Well, it's women. So so plural. I, I like, feel like there's some... There's there's some there's some bits of information missing from this question that I think are very important. Mm. <laughs> well, that was like, where are your wages going? Yeah, <laughs> like I, that's what, and that's the concern, right? That's the bit yeah. where like it is actually a fucking problem. But again, it also, it does mirror like, you know, like they're saying that they need to watch weirder and weirder stuff to be able to get off. It's like the whole like going on to your tolerance, going up to certain drugs. So you start taking harder drugs. It's literally that. Like he's, it sounds like he's sort of spiraling a bit. Like he's, you know, having to just watch (laughs) Well, I'm just coming into like these seven (laughs) women. Well, I just can't stop. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck's sake. Yeah, it definitely, I mean, as much as it's a kind of almost like a, funny sounding question in, in the nicest way possible um oh, well, they it, wrote it very funnily i think like, yeah, they, they know they know written. that this question is yeah. gonna be a bit funny yeah it does sound like maybe it might actually be a bit of a problem i don't know i don't know it sounds a bit problematic I think, yeah. I think there's some layers of cope in this question and i think they're not being entirely honest of the uh, the, the depths that it's going so i hope i hope they can stop <laughs> Yeah, not completely. Just, or cut back, yeah. just cut yeah. back. I don't think, yeah, you know, to stop, no. just, you know, cut back a bit. God, what a f- mind-blowing <sighs> fucking question. Wowie, wowie, wowie. I feel like it had so yep. many, like, trigger points, you know what I mean? There's, like, fucking OnlyFans, Death by Snoo Snoo, fucking jerking it. Amazonian, <laughs> squeezing my heart. <laughs> squeezing, like, chafing my dick. every term, every word in there. <sighs> Amazing. <laughs> The veiny log flume of love is my personal favourite. <laughs> now, Harry said to us uh, in our podcast channel that the quality of questions have went up. And after today's mm. episode, I'm like, you know, I think, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, the quality has gone up. <laughs> I don't Harry, know about... Yeah. It's more, there's just less, there's less garbage. <laughs> there's more, like, of these and less yeah. garbage, which is amazing. Yeah, some of them just say, like, hamburgers. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's not a question. Oh, nice. That's not a thing we can yeah. talk about. You need to give more yeah. than that. Um, so yeah, thank you. I guess, I guess we can outro it. Um, thank you to everyone who's been sending questions as well. It's been um, it's been it's been really good. It's super funny, really enjoyable to um to read through and, and talk about. So you're 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 what's keeping the podcast going. Um, so yeah, keep sending them in. You. We want to hear we... your your funny predicaments. We've got over yeah. three hundred questions. It's um, great, really which great, is incredible. So thank you so much, everyone. Yeah, um, and thank you for listening. Um, be sure to yeah. submit your questions in the link. There's a little linky link. It's very easy to find. And let us know what you think of the show as yeah. well. Yeah, you know? I, 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 and leave a little review. It doesn't take very long. And it helps us. It's it really fun does. times. 
and, and chat to us on Twitter. Tell us, like, answer the questions. Tell us, maybe not the wanky, wanking, wanking ones, but uh, maybe the P question. I don't know. I, you know, well, where are you listening to the podcast? I don't know. Like, get in touch with us. Let us know. Uh, your thoughts on on the questions we've been answering today. And I think equally, we've been talking about it, but we'd love to know who you'd like to have guest on Zero Degrees. Mm. Mm. Something yeah, we've, been, we've got we've been looking at. So we've uh, got a few ideas in our mind, but you know, we'd love to hear what you'd think. Mm. And they don't just have to be Yoscast members either. You no, know? they could be they could be anyone. Yeah, like, who would be a, who? Who would help us answer questions well or badly? I don't. I don't. I think it'd be either or, either of them. So um, send in your suggestions. We want we want to know. Nice. All right, we'll catch you all next week. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye.